Hello, this is Karen Swamberg of Howling Moose Gardens. It is August 16th, and I just wanted to give an update. I'm not sure whether I said in the last video that my video, that my business partner and I have broken up, and now, so, I'm back to Howling Moose, away from Swamberg and Con Aquaponics. So, our first greenhouse is pretty much in production. You can, I'm just going to give a quick overview of that, and then I'm going to show you what's going on in the second greenhouse. So, my gravel beds are plumb full of nasturtiums, nasturtiums and some watercress, a little bit of minutina down here, and then lots of various squashes, and then my rafts are full of chards and more chard and watercress and chard and lettuces and cabbages and basil one two three kinds of basil more chard more lettuces things are going pretty well switching back to the other side more chard more lots more kale this chard is huge this is a four foot long measuring tape measuring stick you can see just how big that chard is and it's very dense I should have started harvesting it a while back but I didn't and the bright or the the silver rib chard over there is just as big I wanted to show this one particular crop I'm growing it's called Oroch I don't know the actual Latin name uh, O-R-A-C-H it's also called mountain spinach and a couple of other things I got the seeds from Kitchen Garden Seeds, and it comes in lots of different colors, and, and the mix, and the, the, the seeds come in a mix. So, like it comes in very purple and green and lighter pink. The color isn't very good right now, but... I just planted it on a lark, and it came up really, really well, and it's so pretty and I think that it will go over well in a salad mix. I have a woodchuck who's coming in and eating all my food. So you can see on this kohlrabi, that kohlrabi was about ready to go, but then the woodchuck came in and ate every leaf off of my kohlrabi. All these leaves that are back are new. So I have a trap, a live trap. He's pretty wily, and he's gotten out of it already, so I need to go buy a bigger trap. So, my fish, walking around here into the head house, and I have perch in there, they don't come up very often, and tilapia in here. Air blowers, and here we go into working on the second greenhouse. We just did the plumbing this is the sump tank to be. So we just plumbed all of this uh, plumbing today. We got a couple of uniseals in. You can see that the aeration systems are almost ready to go. They just need to be uh, plumbed in with this little joiner right here. But you can see he's got the air stones. And then gravel uh, bags every 10 feet or so in order to hold the air pipes down. So here we are at the other end of greenhouse number two. You can see how the plumbing here is coming out. Two three inch pipes that go across and back and then back to the top of the head house again. This is where the gravel beds will be which will be the two, uh, 150 gallon Rubbermaid tubs. They'll go here, and I'm going to uh, level out that pile of dirt. And so the gravel beds are a little bit higher than the troughs. And then, so the fish tanks, which will be right here, will be a little bit higher than the gravel beds. So it'll be a nice... I also have 750 or so fingerling catfish. About yay big. They're in this trough over here. You can see them dart around in there.
they're only in the trough temporarily. I didn't have a tank ready for them when I bought them, and I had to get them at a certain time due to uh, various things. I've also done something here. I make these little rafts, and right now I just have things like peas in them. But the reason I did that was because I want to do a lot of companion planting, but I don't want to have to be swapping plants around in the rafts. So what I end up doing is I'll have a bunch of these small rafts and I'll put them in between the other rafts as a companion plant. So I'll have marigolds or alliums, you know, like onions and things, or maybe herbs like basil in these skinny rafts. and then I can move the skinny rafts around as need be without actually disturbing the plants. We also have some seedling tables up and running. So for instance here I have Bright Lights Chard and Helvius Lettuce which is a heat tolerant lettuce, some Red Kale, some Adriana Lettuce, some Mache Greens, and then some uh, Toscana or di dinosaur kale and room for another one. We'll do that in a, probably tomorrow. So one, two, three seedling tables in production and I have a fourth one built uh, but I'm moving it into the machine shop, that gaping hole over there so I have some in the shade and some that I can keep warmer in the winter. Just a final sweep. Fish tanks. Second greenhouse. Soon to be gravel bed. First greenhouse. Thank you very much for watching the video. Have a good day.